Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Simon the Sorcerer 3D. Now that we're alive and kicking again, let's get out of here. It's clearly important for something. And of course, being an adventure game, let's steal anything that isn't nailed down. You can never have enough valuable gems, in my opinion. Couldn't agree more. You've just picked up your first object. Wow! Yes, well, I suppose you'd like me to tell you how to use it. It'll take a few minutes. No, no, you told me to use the manual, so I'm using the manual. I'll see you later. Action, adventure, and endless corridors. And let's not forget the crappy camera to add that extra level of annoyance. What? Wait, wait, wait. A boss monster in an adventure game? Who made this? Okay, so we've got no weapons, no armour, and I'm not even sure if Simon can use magic. So he is pretty much screwed. Oh, well it's a good thing it has no intention of attacking us. This is as close as I go to that thing, I'm afraid. There's a space inside their mouths for something. I wonder what? Whatever could it be? Well, it's a good thing I picked up these conveniently placed gems earlier. Maybe they'll do the trick. And in goes the first one. And there's the second. Hey, cool! It's like we're creating a laser light show in here. And there goes the final gem. Now, we dance. Now oh, come on, just follow me over here. Ah! Right over this way. To your doom! Well, he was more of a wimp than I would have imagined. Oh look, a key. Whatever could that be used for? I wonder. They're stuck in place! Damn it! I could have pawned those! Darn. Bet we could have got a lot for them too. Now how are we going to get through this door? I wonder. Now what's this on the floor? It's got one of those Egyptian symbol things on it. She's back. What is it now? I nearly forgot something important. Yes. I forgot to record the dialogue for this part. This happens sometimes in the game. For some reason they either left out or forgot to record the voices for the characters. But what she's trying to say here is, press the caps lock button to run, press it again to walk. Simple as that. As if we couldn't figure it out by ourselves. Or then again, maybe they've just turned into mimes or something. Why are you telling me this now? Oh, uh, no reason. Bye! Wait a minute. There's something you're not telling me, isn't there? Uh, yes. Bye! Yes, I'm not telling you about the death trap that's ahead for you. 
Good luck with that. Oh crap, there it is. Run, 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 run. Made it. Oh, look who it is. I see you got past Thanks the for telling me then. about the boulder. No thanks that to information you. could have come in handy. Well, you're nearly out of here now. I'm beginning to think this entire section is here just so you can tell me all the different parts of the game. Uh, well, anyway, another useful thing you can do is to use look around mode. If you press look around and hold it down, you will see what you see through your own eyes rather than through one of the game cameras. You should really be talking to them, not me. Yeah, if this game does a lot of anything, it's breaking the, the fourth wall. Button, then the camera will change to show you what Simon can see through his eyes. Whilst holding look around down, you will be able to turn his head using the arrow keys. When yeah, again, what happened to if we get in trouble, use go. the manual? Look around. Yes, yes, very concise. I'm sure they get it. Now, can I get on, please? Sometimes you can be so ungrateful. And this is what Simon sees. A path of light. Why? I don't know. Magic vision, I guess. With this bit we don't even have to be careful, because it's completely impossible to fall off the path, which makes this entire section almost completely pointless. And now back to the dark and dreary corridors once again. Oh. Hello again. Hello again. I'm only going Another to say tutorial? This once, so really? Carefully. You know, if you, you can teleport in and out of here at all times. Then you Can't you just take me with you? Hands and knees. You can then crawl around by using the movement controls. And when you press the crawl button again, you will stand back up. Easy peasy. Okie dokie. I shouldn't really give you hints, but don't let the eye see you. What? what? <laughs> and I'm guessing this is the eye we have to hide from. Well, it's a good thing she gave us that hint, or we might be in trouble. Now wait for it. Wait for it and go to the switch. Okay, now let's leg it to the exit. Come on, faster, faster! Made it. door looks really final. Woohoo, let's get out of here. Now, I know we have to earn the right to live again, but it seems kind of pointless to go through all that time and effort to bring someone back to life just to put them through a series of tests that could just easily kill them again. Man, it's nice to get out of those dingy corridors. I expect that Calypso character will be lurking around here somewhere. Either that or someone with a strange and mysterious message for me. And now that we're out of the temple, let's leave off here for now. Thanks for watching and come back next time.